Welcome back to Fox 51 today. You know, there are so many sleeping problems out there, but I didn't oh, yeah. know about this, but it turns out there is actually acid reflux that can affect your sleep patterns. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, so, so Dr. R.V. Gouguet with the Sleep Medicine Institute of Texas is here to tell us all about this and kind of explain to us better. Good morning. Good morning, hello. Rachel. Good morning, Rob. Hello, hello. Well, you know, Dr. Gouguet, we hear about this all the time and ads, you know, about acid reflux. Could you kind of explain to us, if we're not familiar, exactly what acid reflux is and how it can affect our sleep? You know, Rachel, acid is made in your stomach, mm -hmm. and when it uh, comes up in the esophagus, it can cause uh, lots of inflammation, lots of burning of the esophagus, scarring, strictures, uh, and may even lead to um, esophageal cancer if it uh, continues chronically. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been thought of before as uh, a symptom or a problem occurring in the daytime actually it happens to be something that happens at night when you sleep. Mm. So acid reflux typically occurs when you lay down and the esophagus is almost at the same level of your stomach and the acid just comes up while you're sleeping. Mm. So I guess they can happen with both well, sleep and non-sleep related issues, but more, it, 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 I guess it's shown up. And what are some of the sleep issues or problems that one has that can aggravate it or is it I guess brought on by those, right? You know, certainly structural problems such as hiatal hernia uh, can cause acid reflux at night without having a sleep disorder. Mm -hmm. And it can actually leak into your lungs, cause asthma-like symptoms. In children especially, this happens in a younger age. But with sleep apnea, acid reflux is almost uh, um, prevalent in 80 or 90 percent of people with sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. As you may recall, um, uh, when you sleep and you snore, you make a tremendous effort trying to suck air in through a narrow air passage. That sucking force is the negative intrathoracic pressure or negative pressures that are generated in the chest like a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And that sucks acid up into the esophagus. Mm -hmm. And patients may not even know they have reflux because they're sleeping, kind of like you're snoring. You know, mm -hmm. you don't know you're snoring. Someone has to tell you that you snore. Mm -hmm. And so the reflux may go unnoticed, but if it burns the esophagus and you try to eat something over it next morning mm -hmm. for breakfast and you feel the burning sensation, you think that's when the reflux is occurring. Mm -hmm. But no, it happened the night before. Wow. Oh, that is very interesting. That's very, very interesting. Now, you know, say this is a problem for us. Is medication the only way to go or are there other sorts of treatments? Well, clearly, one must find out if there is sleep apnea. Okay. Sleep apnea can actually suck the stomach up into the chest and cause hiatal hernias. So you must fix the sleep apnea if it's there. Okay. It can also precipitate asthma attacks. It's very critical to stop the acid from coming up in the esophagus. So you have to be, treat the reflux or mm -hmm. treat acid production at night using medications at your bedtime. Mm -hmm. And that helps to temporarily at least control the reflux while you try to fix the other causes causes of the reflux. Hmm. I know with sleep apnea, some, there's different ways, right, to attack it. And I know one is the machine that basically forces air down, down in your airway, and then you have the mouthpieces. Explain briefly for, for us those. Well, options. you know, when you use a um, oral appliance to treat sleep apnea, what you're trying to do is basically prevent the jaw from relaxing and falling back, mm -hmm. and the tongue from relaxing and falling back in your sleep, and so uh, oral appliances are useful to treat mild and moderate sleep apnea. In fact, I have diagnosed acid reflux by looking at an oral appliance of a patient. The oral appliance turned yellow because of acid oh. uh, coming in contact with the material. Wow. And of course, pap therapy is where you use a, a blower and you uh, allow the patient to breathe in compressed air and kind of inflate the air passage like you'd air up a flat tire. Mm -hmm. That is very, very interesting. Now, you know, obviously, if you want to find out more information, where's a good place for us to go? Well, of course, you can go to sleeptyler.com, okay. which is our website, or you can call our office, and we'd be happy to help in any way. All right, well, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Thank you very much, thank Rachel, you. Robert.